The desert is a place of extremes. I always say that. It's, everybody knows how hot it is. It's very hot, but it's also extremely cold, extremely windy, extremely dry. But for me personally, I'm attracted mostly to the space. It's like looking here out the window. You just feel like you have infinite possibilities. It's all about possibility here. And I think that's why people come here a lot, to, they, to reinvent themselves, or if you can just step outside, you can be out in this space that really can affect you mentally and encourage you know, creative growth and activity. I've been coming to the desert uh, since the mid-80s, probably. It's the first time. Came out one weekend and then I immediately felt drawn to it, but I never thought I'd end up here. I was fascinated by the rocks and how hard they were to paint and anything that's kind of difficult to paint I'd see as a challenge and I wanted to, really wanted to learn about those rocks and I painted them for a long time and, and did close-up paintings of cactus and the Joshua trees and gradually my eyes opened up to a broader field and it's, it's just too much to absorb out here at first. It's just so big and so vast and I just could only focus on a small thing at a time. And then gradually my awareness came to include the whole broad landscape and I found myself painting landscapes, which I thought, I, <laughs> I never thought I'd end up doing that, but I, I couldn't help it. That's, I was just responding to my environment and I had to do it, so. It's the kind of place you do react to in either a positive or negative way. It, it's not for everybody. And I love a friend of mine who's a writer that lives here, I, I, she wrote the best one-line description of the desert I've ever read, I think. She said, the desert is what fills up emptiness and empties fullness at the same time. It just clears your head, it frees your mind, but it fills it up at the same time with all this other creative energy and uh, this, it's hard to talk about, really. I mean, for me, I express it in my work. I came to realize that my work really is coming from a tra tradition of American landscape painting when they were exploring this country and they brought artists along with them to capture the, you know, the first explorers that came out west and went to Yosemite and they did paintings of what they saw and to bring back to the east coast and, and you know, just it was astounding to people. What, the landscape was out here, the West. And I feel like I'm carrying on that tradition and in a new, interpreting it in a new contemporary way. But it comes from the same kind of impulse. The videos I'm making now, I think, I, I, for the past couple of years, I think express that feeling I get being out in the desert on those dirt roads more than the paintings. That's that's what I'm feeling right now because I can I can put the music and I do all this effects on the images so it's like I'm creating it's like I'm painting on images but they're moving and that's 
the way I feel in my car driving through it. I, I don't want this to sound corny or pretentious, but it really does make me feel part of the universe, at one with the universe, and in the moment, and that I am a part of everything, and everything is in me. It's incredible, and it's frightening, too. It's frightening. It can be really frightening. I have really frightened myself out there in some situations, but... That's part of it too, but I try and be really, I'm very conscious of safety and bringing enough provisions and spare tires and all that. I will always have a place here, and I know I'll always do work based on deserts. And it might not be the Mojave Desert, it could be, it might end up being the Gobi Desert, or the Sahara Desert. You know, I've always wanted to go to other deserts in other parts of the world, but uh, I haven't, haven't gotten there yet. <laughs>